the boys have gone off swimming to the sandcastles in Blackpool. Um, and if you've been here before, you know that I don't really do water parks and stuff. So I've stayed in the caravan. Um, so I just thought I'd give you a little tour of what a deluxe caravan looks like at Martin Mia. Um, it's a two bedroomed, so I'll take you around. But bearing in mind it's we've been here two nights already, so we have unpacked, so it's a little bit messy. But I'll take you around and you can have a look where it looks like. Um, so you have a mirror, hi, got a TV, got a big window there. We've got heating, a bin in the corner, another window, sofa, kitchen over there with a little window, a fridge and a small freezer, your entrance door another window and then you've got your dining table and benches and um, your kitchen has loads of storage space and it comes with all your cutlery so it's got loads of storage space it's got an extractor fan as well storage above the freezer um, this is where your boiler is. We're having a hard time with the heating. <laughs> and then you go through a little corridor and you've got a bathroom with shower. You have a twin bedroom with a wardrobe. And it does have hangers as well. Some little cupboard space there. Two beds. Cupboard in between. Storage on top as well. It has plugs and it does have USBs in the plug sockets as well, which is really handy. And the light switch, you have one in the middle of the two beds and one at the door. And you come out of this one. And then this is the big bedroom. Obviously a double bed, storage, window, radiators in all the rooms. The vanity area for you to get ready. Wardrobe, draw, there. And there's another little mirror there. And there's a one there. Hangers for your coats and things. And there's also some on the wall. Again, the sockets with USBs and the light switch is there and there's one there. There's also, you can control the heating from here as well in your bedroom, which was really good because it gets cold during the night. And then we have a little toilet in the big bedroom with a mirror, sink, toilet. So yeah, so that's the caravan. Um, obviously we've done Haven for a long time over the years. Um, we love it and um, love caravan holidays. You can just please yourself then and obviously you've got your own space and stuff rather than a hotel room and there's more roomy and stuff. Um, we haven't really explored the park that much, um, but it's it's nice. It's been, um, we definitely come again. Well, we are coming again. We've already booked for a weekend um, next year. But it's nice. We only done the stay. Um, so you get two options. Stay and play, which is your passes to get into the entertainment on the night, go swimming and do all the activities. Or you can just stay where it's basically your caravan. Um, and you can use the restaurant and obviously the like the fish and chip shop and stuff like that. Um, but we only used it as a base just to go to into Blackpool itself. And it's, it's ideal. It's literally a 14-minute drive. Um, but no, it's really good. The staff are lovely, um, very, very helpful. The security and stuff on the um, on the entrance as you're coming in, they're really good with you. Um, but yeah, so we paid, I think it was £249 for three nights, um, which is August Bank Holiday Weekend, which I think is really, really good. 
um but yeah so we've enjoyed it um we've had a little walk around obviously just out and about just to get some fresh air and stuff and there's a big field and stuff like that but it's it's a canny little park um at the top there's like i said there's the fish and chips there's a burger bar um rob had one of them last night and he really enjoyed it there's an ice cream van that's permanently there there's a little play park um, and there's plenty of seating outside of the entertainment so even if you wanted to go up people i saw people last night when we came back from the pleasure beach they were sat up there and they were just um having a drink outside because it was still quite warm at like half past nine ten o'clock ish um so yeah i would highly recommend it and like i say we're coming back again hi everyone well, in case you didn't notice it's just me and michelle's Dad. not here we, me and kellen have been to sandcastles water park in blackpool just over the road from the pleasure beach yeah uh, how did you find it kel it was good it was really good they had some good slides and everything there didn't they yeah what was your best slide probably the do you know the ones that went really fast the green and red one yeah the ones that we thought were the baby ones well you were thought actually in fact were the, the racer ones very very quick <laughs> took us a bit by surprise but we did enjoy them yeah. we also like the according to the the world's announcement the world's longest indoor water coaster in the world which yeah. Which was good as well, but I went backwards the full way. Yes, it does tend to spin you around, doesn't it? Which I found right near the end. <laughs> uh, other than that, it was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Really enjoyed it, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. I've been flying off the ceiling, and maybe we're invisible.